One day I will have a cafe, and we'll all call it Moe's Cafe. Uh, but right now, my name's Mo Gaffney. Uh, I did a show called The Kathy and Mo Show. And um, I've written a lot about women's rights and the lack thereof and the future of and the squashing of and the fucking with. And here's uh, what I mostly see and what I've written. Rage. I am rageful. Once I get started, the rage starts sneaking out of my rage reservoir and spills all over everything. And of course, it's not pretty to get rage on your new top and your iPhone and your skinny jeans. Or in my case, chubby jeans. But better out than in, I have this rage because I feel as though this war on women has been going on too long. I, for one, am sick to death of it. I don't want to be respectful or politic or let bygones be bygones. I want to rage about it. I want to, for instance, go up to that group of men on the congressional panel on birth control and get a bunch of fucking rage on them. I'm sick to death of some men and women thinking females are unable to be in charge of ourselves. You don't get to be in charge of my vagina or my reproductive organs. Or whether or when I'll have a baby. And if you don't like it, well that is too fucking bad. Some men are trying so hard to be in charge of it because, well, they can't do it. Some men are mad because they don't have the babies. They can't do it, so they want to at least be in charge of it. They are trying any way they can to have some say in it. If there's a bill about potatoes and corn, you can bet there will be something in it about keeping women from contraception. If it's a bill about roads or seniors or new missiles or petroleum research, somewhere in it is a little section just to fuck with women. And it comes from everywhere. I'm still pissed off that Planned Parenthood had to remind the Komen people that they don't just do abortions, but they also save women's lives. Oh, but P.S. Abortions are legal. And since women, only women get them, men can fuck off about it. I'm pretty sure that all shakes down to religion, them putting their God on us. And P.S.S. We live, or are supposed to live, in a governmental system that separates church and state. So... You can go to your church or synagogue or temple or mosque or home in your house with your crucifix or altar or banana tree or holly bush and pray and wail and dance and not get abortions and not use contraception, but fill my prescription and do my procedure and don't worry about my soul. I'm so glad to get my rage out. It feels great. You want to legislate something? Legislate sperm. Legislate balls. That's what I'm saying. Get a sonogram on and put it up a man till it hits his ball sack and make him take a gander at his sperm. Remind him that sperm could be a baby one day, or of course it could end up on his Lakers extra large purple t-shirt. We still have to march and rally for anything. We are, as we've heard a lot today, over half the population of this planet. I've wondered a lot why we have to put up with so much, and I think I have the answer. Fear. We are powerful, and they fear us. But instead of utilizing our power, instead of valuing everything about what it means to be a woman, they marginalize it, minimize it, criticize it, and fear it. We all know this. And then, of course, there are the distractions. We're distracted with shopping and facelifts and belly tops and high heels and hair removal and spa weekends and push-up bras and diamonds and the mommy wars and the real lives of wherever the fuck. And those distractions are mostly harmless, but we have to have perspective. It would be great if while on the spa weekend we write our own ironclad legislation that keeps people out of our vaginas. That'd be super. If in some way while getting our Brazilian we can think up some male birth control so our bodies can take a break. Most of all, in my humble and rageful opinion, we have to let them know that we know. We know what they're doing. And we're not allowing it. That's why this rally in March and other rally in Marches have to happen. So they know that we know. We know what they're doing, and we're not going to allow it. So let your rage fly, people. Value yourselves and unite. And 
although I'm so grateful all of you are here, where the hell is everybody else? Where are all those women that take advantage of all the strides women before them have made for them? Where are they? I see a lot of young women here. Tell your friends that the reason they can buy property and vote is because somebody before them decided to march and get beat up and get raped and killed so they could do so. We deserve our rage and let's let it out. Thank you.